Hey there, do you want to learn how to use a mail merge to create a different URL with a clickable text for every different recipient? Well, come along and find out. Welcome to the GPT Classroom, embedding URLs into a text mail merge. All right, first things first, you need to have a Excel or Google Sheet that has your information in it. Um, the URLs in here need to not be linked. So if they are linked, please make sure to unlink them. They should be um, text only, plain text. Um, and once you have it all ready to go, you will download this as a CSV, comma separated value. All right, once that's downloaded, you can open up your Word document. And I have some real basic text in here. Um, but we'll merge some of these fields. So, go. So first, let's go to mailings. There we go. And we want to select recipients. This is going to tell us what CSV folder that we're going to be using. So we want to select from an existing list. And go to downloads because we just saved it, and it should be your most recent download. Go ahead and open that up. And once you have that open, then you can start to insert your merge fields. So here I want to put the first and last name for my students. So I'm going to go to insert merge field, first name, and then put a space, insert last name. And now is where the magic happens. Are you ready? Okay, so I want them to be able to click the part that says click here to access a different website for each person that this goes to. So what I'm going to do is it's it's a if I was just doing one website for everybody and I wanted it to just say click here, I could easily just go and add a link like I would in any document. However, since this is a mail merge, it's a little different, so we have an extra step or two to do. So what we're going to do is go to insert Quick parts, it took me a minute to find this. It's in the text section here. If yours is just little icons, look for this one with the blue box on top of the gray box. And we wanna insert a field. Scroll down to hyperlink and click okay. It's gonna give us this error message, but don't worry about it. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to hit Alt. Uh, this is on a PC. I'm not sure what it is on a Mac. Alt F9. And that shows us the strings that are built into our document here. So here's the trick. We go in between hyperlink and the slash. And now we are going to go back to mailings. And this is where we're going to insert that merge field. URL. So this is what it's going to look like. And then you can hit Alt F9 to get those text strings taken out of there. Or to hide them, I should say. And it's going to give us that error message again. But don't worry about it. I'll show you how to fix it. Alright. So there's the error message. Now I want it to say click here. And notice I left that little period at the end. I've tried, if I select that period um, right here, if I select that when I'm trying to create a two-word or multi-word um, clickable text, it will only select the first word. So this is my workaround. So I do that, and then I just, let's see, I think I can just go in here and delete just that little part. Space. And there we go. Now click here goes to that link. So now let's make sure that this worked. So what we want to do is preview results and this should show different results for each of our different recipients. All right. Happy Smiles gets to go to happiness.com. Jolly Laughter goes to another website. All right. So it worked. So anyway, it's a few extra steps, but it is worth it when you have a lot of different URLs to send out to different people. This is your trick. And then from there on, you would just go about with the rest of your mail merge.
Thanks for visiting the GPT Classroom. Please subscribe, like, and share with friends. And remember, stay curious.